almost going to be a range of perspectives that we need to listen to. They made headlines when they turned their backs on Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and walked out on Andrew Scheer. That was back in April. On social media, the daughters of the vote received much praise for what they stood up for. But for the women who were of a visible minority, specifically from Edmonton, they became the target of hate and Islamophobia. Some polls criticized the spending of tax dollars to send Muslim, Indigenous and Black delegates to Ottawa. Mm. These posts are frankly vicious and racist. These were just some of the images circulating on social media days after the summit. For Asma Ali, the direct messages were the most hurtful. There was one comment that I saw that really stuck out to me and called all of us a threat to the nation. Ali and her fellow Edmonton delegates are all in their early 20s and were forced to deal with threatening messages of hate all over their social media. For Ali, it left her feeling scared, outraged and traumatized, but it didn't silence her turn to my favorite medium of expression, which is photography. Um, I do freelance photography in my free time, and so I decided why not use my passion and my skill to shed light on what happened to all of us. She started a portrait series, Flip the Script, containing photos of Muslim women and their stories. I'll never quite stop being aware of the fact that all people see is my hijab when they look at me, that I have to coax people to see me as a human being past my hijab. Ali wanted to show the world that these Muslim women, some of whom are former delegates, are stronger than the hate and are reclaiming their narratives to spread a message of unity. feel hope if they see it. I want them to feel like um, they have the power to control their narrative. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.